Hey everyone, it's Olivia, and today I'm going to be talking about what it's really like to work at a movie theater. Before we get started, I would just like to clarify that this is just based off of my experiences from working at a movie theater. It can be different for literally anyone, but this is what it was like for me. When you work in a movie theater, it is common to get inconsiderate price complainers. When you're working the concession stands, everything costs so much money because that's how the movies get their money. We don't get money through tickets. We get money through snacks. And if you're working at concessions literally at least once a day, you will get someone complaining that the prices are way too high. Now don't get me wrong, it is way too expensive. $7 for a drink, like that makes no sense. But when you realize that that's the only way that we really get our revenue, it kinda makes sense. So yeah, with these expensive prices, normal employees will just get yelled at because um, apparently we make up the prices. No, that, that's not true. Working in a movie theater can be very stressful as well. For me, the biggest stress was answering the phones when I was in box office specifically alone. There were a lot of nights where like you're the only person in box office and the person in box office at my theater was the one that answered all the calls. Well, if you were on a phone call and then a customer comes in, it's really tough to know what exactly to do because you don't want to like tell the phone person to wait but you also don't want to tell the customer to wait so that is just very stressful trying to figure out what to do in that situation and I still never mastered it. One thing that a movie theater has that most other jobs don't have are specific set gaps. So we have a schedule that we can basically see what time the movies start and end so we know when we're going to be busy and when we aren't. That is a huge benefit because we can basically plan when we need to have things ready and then when we can just kind of relax and do whatever we want. Something that we have to do is check bags whenever customers come in. We normally check bags that are bigger than a standard purse, anything smaller than that we don't check. What we're checking for really is if there's any dangerous weapons in the bag. We don't care if there's candy. That might just be my theater, but we really don't care um, as long as you're being safe, whatever. A huge part of our job is cleaning all the time. There's just literally popcorn everywhere. You will never walk in a movie theater and not see popcorn on the floor. It is inevitable, like you just can't avoid it. The worst thing I think I've had to clean up is there were a lot of customers that would just come in, watch a movie, ask for a courtesy cup, and what they would use it for is to spit out their chewing tobacco. I didn't even know like what chewing tobacco looked like until I worked here because just so many people would leave it behind in their cup holders in that cup. That's just so nasty. I never understood why like we even really need to clean. Like why can't people just learn to take their trash? The amount of stuff I've had to clean up and the amount of just disgustingness I have seen in these theaters is just kind of crazy. Like, it's kind of funny to see how horrible people can be and inconsiderate. Not gonna lie. Another thing that we have is wacky hours. Depending on what time of year it is or what movie we're releasing, we can open anywhere between 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. and we can close anywhere between 8 p.m. to like 2 a.m. The shifts can be quite gruesome. Our hours at my theater were always eight hour shifts. Unless it was like a school day, you normally get shorter shifts. But other than that, you're working a whole eight hours. Which is good because I mean, for me personally, if I'm gonna have a job, I'm just gonna full send and get those hours. But you know, there's people that only want like four hour days because it is a part-time job. And you won't really get that in movie theaters because movie theaters are open late. Another thing that I've encountered is a lot of customers really do like to watch the credits, which I do not understand. Especially after working in a movie theater, I have watched so many credits to movies. There's literally nothing to it. I understand if there's like a scene after the credits, but most movies don't have that. And you will just get a bunch of like old ladies just staying back, talking about the movie, not leaving. And like me having to be ready to clean the theater will just be standing there staring at them, kind of like giving them the look to like leave, but I can't really ask them to leave. Yeah, I just, I don't understand why customers don't realize that once their movie is over, they kind of got to leave. Another thing which I think is really fun is like, especially with big movies, we will get mega fans wearing cosplay, but there are rules to cosplay. There was a time 
that um, a kid got kicked out because he was wearing like face paint and that was not allowed so that was really sad. But cosplay can be really fun it's just interesting to see like people and what they can come up with and I don't know it's just it's really fun to see. There was one time that we like had special people come in to wear cosplay for a movie and it was like a horror movie or something so like we had these scary dressed people just running around scaring people and it was very fun to watch. Now this is probably just pertained to specifically my theater but I can totally see this happening like at any other theater. Managers are kind of unprofessional which it is a movie theater, it's entertainment industry, professionalism isn't like that big of a deal, but like for mine, a lot of the managers are very inconsiderate and they just kind of, I don't know, they just weren't the greatest in like tough situations, I guess, or dealing with stuff. <laughs> I'm not going to go into detail, I do love all my managers that I had for the most part. But yeah, it was a different experience that I had um, with management at the movie theater than with my old job. <laughs> now we're reaching the end of the video and I'm sure you're wondering, how much free popcorn can you get? You really can take as much popcorn as you want. At the end of the night, we have huge trash bags full of popcorn. Anyone can take them home, it's free range. And also you can get free like drink refills if you bring your own cup. You get like a lot of just like free little extras. And the discounts at my theater specifically were that you would get two free tickets a week. It used to be like two a day, then they took that away from us. But And then concessions were 50% off for us, which that's really good because concessions is so expensive. Other benefits is movie posters. We would always get those for free and sometimes we would fight over who can get some if some big movies were coming out. But I honestly think just the movie posters alone were worth working there for. I have like literally a hundred posters and you never know, those could become very valuable someday and you could sell those for money. So just saying. All right, so that concludes what I have to say about the reality of working at a movie theater and just a few little secrets and like behind the scenes stuff if you wanted to know. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to stick around and hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification because then you'll be notified whenever I post another video. I post every Monday at three o'clock Eastern time and I will see you guys next week.